Isaiah chapter 14, verse 18. Now we're looking at Babylon again. Notice how Babylon is associated with Lucifer. God has a city. Satan has a city. All the kings of the nations, even all of them, lie in glory, every one in his own house. But, everybody, but thou art cast out of thy grave like an abominable branch. And as the remnant of the, those that are slain, thrust through with a sword in battle, the Antichrist gets a deadly wound. His right arm, his right eye. That go down to the stones of the pit. As a carcass, death, trodden under feet, walked over. That's Revelation 19, 19, 14, 20. Thou, all the kings that they're 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 home, they're doing. But thou shall not be joined with them in burial, because thou destroyed thy land, his land, and slain thy people. He's killed his own people. He's killed his own land. The seed of evildoers shall never be renowned famous. And that's not true today. We've got history of books and, and people who study people who don't need to be studied. Their lives are, are, are ruined and wicked and vile and they're lifted up and they're promoted. And they, it's amazing. I don't know if I can mention the magazine, but you go to the checkout and, and it got one whole page, one whole magazine to this person. And, it got, and then next month they got one whole page. It's like, and you see the magazines and, and, and the, 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 the cover photos and who this one's about. And why haven't you ever done a story about a Bible believer, a soul winner, a street preacher, a, a pastor of a church, an evangelist, a man who's doing work on a foreign field? Because the world's not interested. And it's sorry that there are Christians interested in the world. Prepare slaughter. For his children, for the iniquity of their fathers. Death, 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 death. That they do not rise, stay dead, nor possess the land. Nor fill the face of the world with cities. So here is the Antichrist. Here is, is the judgment of Babylon. And you destroyed your own city. You destroyed your own people. There is going to be no famous people. And, and really, when you look at Babylon, what famous people come out of Babylon? Now, I remember in school, though not according to the Bible, but I remember in school we did studies through the pharaohs. I know we did studies of Genghis Khan. I know we studied Alexander the Great, and there are names like that we studied. And let me ask you a question outside the Bible, because I don't ever remember studying a man named, oh, this is his name now, um, Nebuchadnezzar. Sorry about that, my brain. I don't remember studying Nebuchadnezzar in school. But tell me from the city of Babylon what great history names that we have out of that when the Bible says their seed of evil those shall never be renounced, shall never be famous. It's not the Bible correct. It's not the Bible proper. It's not the Bible set the standard that when God said it, it's going to be so. For I will rise, God speaking, up against them, 
Babylon, saith the Lord, and the Antichrist, and cut off from Babylon the name. There, you know, there is a Babylon in the book of Revelation. Cut off the name and the remembrance and the remembrance and the son and the nephew, saith the Lord. He's going to go in families. I will, God speaking, also make a possession for the bitter animals and pools of water, reservoirs. And I will sweep it with the balsam of destruction. And what's a balsam? It's a broom. God has a broom of destruction. And God is going to go into Babylon. And he's going to take his broom of destruction and he's going to sweep through Babylon. And what do you do in most cases when you got a broom? You sweep all the garbage, roughage, whatever you have. And then you, you put it into a dustpan, you put it in the garbage, and you got a little bit left over, you go back and you pick that until the, the, what your pile is gone. The Lord of hosts has sworn. God making an oath. Surely, as I have thought, God thinking, so shall it come to pass. And as I propose, so shall it stand. Listen, whatever God thinks, whatever God says, and whatever God purposes, it's going to happen. If you reject the Lord Jesus Christ, you will go to hell. You're not going to get to heaven on good merit in the church age. And if Jesus said that the man in hell said the place is of torment, it's a place of torment. That I will break the Assyrian. That's the other one we've been talking about. That's the other type of Antichrist. In my land, he's tacked Israel. He's taken Israel captive. I will curse them that curse you. The Assyrian cursed them. I, I know Assyria and Babylon. I know God said, listen, I got a little job for you. You see, my children have been misbehaving. I want you to go over there. I want you to spank them. I want you to do destruction to them because they're not listening to me. And Babylon and Syria is going, yeah, all right. I, I've always, I said this before as nation. If God says, listen, I want you to spank Israel, that's the moment that the leader and the people can say, excuse me, Lord. You said anybody that curses your people is going to be cursed. Uh, can you find somebody else? Assyria and Babylon said, we'll do it. Upon my mountains. Tread him underfoot. Then shall his yoke depart from off them. The people. And his burden depart from off their shoulders. This is the purpose that is purpose upon the whole earth. This is universal. This is the Antichrist. And this is the hand that is stretched out. Upon all mountains, all nations, excuse me. That Antichrist is going to be the leader of nations. For the Lord of hosts has purpose. And who shall disannul it? His hand is stretched out and who shall turn it back? Who is going to change God's mind? Who's, a, who's going to scold God and say, God, you ought not to do that. And God, the little puppy gets in the corner and wagging his tail. And goes, okay, I'll change. No one. In the year that King Ahaz died, was this burden. Rejoice not, thou whole Pisidia, because of the rod of him, Ahaz, that smoke thee is broken, dead. Also, to the Antichrist. 
The Antichrist is going to die. Far out of the serpent's root shall come a cockatice. And we read in Revelation chapter 12 that that serpent, the old serpent, is the devil and Satan. The Antichrist is going to die. He's resurrected. It's going to get worse. Because then they're going to make an image. Then you got to fall down and worship that image. And then the mark comes. And that's the last three and a half years of tribulation called the Great Tribulation. The serpent will turn to a cockatice. And his fruit shall be a fiery, flying serpent. That was, that was in the book of Numbers. When Israel griped and complained. And Moses made the serpent in the wilderness, the brazen serpent. So the leader is going to die, but, you know, don't get too happy. It's going to get worse. And the firstborn, the poor, shall feed. And the needy shall lie down in safety. And I will kill thy root with famine. And he shall slay thy raiment. Howl, O gate, cry, O city, thou whole Palestinia art dissolved. For there shall come from the north a smoke, and none shall none shall be alone in his appointed times. What shall one then answer the messenger of the nation? That the Lord has founded Zion, Jerusalem. And the poor of his people shall trust in it. The poor of his people. In the, in the tribulation period, if you're rich, you got the mark. You received the mark. If you're poor, you don't have the mark. There is no middle class in, in the tribulation period. You either got the mark and you do business, or you don't have the mark and you don't do business. And with all these nations, God's going to put down and he's going to settle in Zion, the children of Israel. And the only nations that come out of that that we read and study is that the nations that are called sheep and they helped Israel through the tribulation period. Other than that, if you curse Israel and you took that mark, either or both, <coughs> you're considered a goat nation and you go right off into hell. The Antichrist will die. And he'll come back to life, like Jesus Christ. It's interesting. But Jesus Christ doesn't make an image an idol to himself. The Christians do. Jesus Christ never said, okay, now I'm risen from the grave. Make something that looks like me. No, the Catholics do. Christians. Under the name of Christian, they will they will tattoo them themselves, and they'll get little rosaries, and they'll get little pictures, and they'll get an Italian picture, uh, you know, and a Hollywood picture of a man called Jesus. That ain't the Jesus of the Bible. That's another Jesus. Christians are more waiting for the Antichrist than they are for the real Christ.